Okay, so here we are inside Blender 3.6. So I'm going to explain you real quick what did I do here. So here I got this uh, forest project made on a plane of uh, 200 meters per 200 meters. I also got this this place with uh, soft clouds texture just to give some randomness to the to the surface and like we got these really nice assets uh, taken from the from the geoscatter biomes I'm using the the spur scan pine biomes and uh, some grass biomes for the for the for the ground and also I'm using this road uh, this uh, vertex group with this uh, white paint mask for the for the masking of some object objects here to create this uh, this road this path with the with the geoscatter tools here on the distribution, sorry, no, on the uh, on the vertex group here. So just a bit of context, you can search on YouTube and find some tutorials about this. So let's go straight to the tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to create the the fog lighting and then I'm going to show you how to create the morning the sunny lighting so I'm going to create a new collection call it lights and I'm going to create a new collection call it overcast lighting and hit OK so here on the world I'm going to create a new uh, a new world and right here I'm using the Blender Kit add-on. I'm going to search for some overcast um, overcast HDRI and uh, let's use this one, okay? And let's hit OK. Alright, awesome. So let's go to the render view and let's see how this looks. Okay, so far it's looking nice so i'm going to create a new collection i'm gonna call this fog and uh, i'm going to add a new cube let's make this bigger and let's turn this 45 degrees on Z. I'm going to click on my plane, Shift S, cursor to select it. And let's go to my cube that I'm going to call this Fog. Shift S, selection to cursor, and let's make this really big until, until we cover the, the camera. Okay, nice. And let's go to the visibility. Uh, sorry, the viewport display. And let's change this to wire. And let's reduce the size of this to something like this. Let's press Control A, apply scale. Okay, nice. So if I if I go to the camera view, where we're going to see this completely black, completely dark. So in this fog cube, I'm going to create a new material, call it fog. I'm going to delete this principlet BFD. Uh, let's add a volume scatter. And let's plug this on the volume. Uh, on the density, let's bring this down to something like, like 0 0.01 and make this white. So right now we got that really cool fog, but let's see what we can do to make this look proper, properly. So for now I'm gonna go to this world and I'm going to unplug this. 
and on the lights on the overcast lighting i'm going to create a new overcast sunlight i'm going to light natural and overcast sun for this i'm using uh an add-on for for uh basically correct lights okay so here we got this overcast sun and uh, if you don't have this you just copy the the this hex code for the color make the strange 20 and the angle on uh, 50 degrees okay and uh, let's move this here and uh let's put this sun uh pointing to our camera okay and uh, let's go to our fog and uh, on the on the anisotropy let's make this point 99 to give this a really cool looking of fog the anisotropy and uh, what this does is to concentrate the volume uh, to concentrate the fog on the on the light okay so let's bring the strange down something like two and uh, let's point this down even more not sure and okay and let's return to our world and let's plug this on the surface and then uh, on the strange let's put this on point one maybe point zero five something darker okay and uh, i'm gonna render one image here render image okay so here we got our render and here we got this really cool uh foggy scene and um, i forgot to mention that on the light pass increase the volume to three just to add some more light bounces inside the volumes and um, i'm gonna go here in the compositing use node i'm gonna add a composite node and a viewer node i'm gonna plug this both of this and uh, i'm gonna add a color balance node and uh, maybe let's add some color to this on the left let's make this bluish and uh, on the gamma let's make this green something like this and on the gain let's add a warm color something like yellow or orange okay and let's add a curve rgb curves let's move this down and uh, let's bring back some of the shadows here and uh, let's add also a lens distortion here i'm gonna add i'm gonna put this on 0 0.01 just to add this lens distortion and turn on the fit and let's add some chromatic aberration put this on 0 0.01 okay and uh, here we got this really nice forest scene um, also uh, you can experiment with the with the anisotropy here with the density and with the color and the fog to to see if you can get a different result but this is looking really nice maybe we can we can add a dinosaur here or slender man not sure and also i forgot to mention that on my camera I added some depth of field just to blur the 
the background a bit, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create the the sunlight with the God rays, okay? So I'm gonna go here on my lights and I'm gonna create a new collection called uh, Sunlights, okay? And uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna go to my file, uh, to my ACID browser, and I'm gonna add some GoBoss light textures. You can find this atom on the on the Blender market. So we're, we're gonna use, I think, the animated leaves too. I'm gonna drag this here. Okay, and. Uh, Make sure to add this uh, this yellow color that mimics the, the sunlight color, and a, and a really big power here. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to my world. I'm going to create a new world. Uh, let's add a sky texture and plug this here. And uh, okay. Let's go here. And uh, in this case, on the fog values, uh, bring the anisotropy down to zero and the density, put it on 0 0.001. Okay. I'm gonna turn off the fog to make some changes here in the world. So first of all, we're gonna rotate the the sun until we got it on the right side here. Uh, something like this. Okay, and uh, let's bring the elevation down to something like four. Okay. And uh, let's bring the intensity down to zero. And uh, let's give it some ozone to this, something like three. And uh, bring the strange down to something like 0.1 or 0.3. And okay, for now I'm gonna unplug this here. And uh, let's return to the animated leaves. So here we got this spotlight. And uh, I'm gonna. Uh, project this here. I'm going to the object and on the emission, put this a uh, value of five. So as you can see, we got this really cool texture of forest here, uh, projecting in the in the in the ground. Actually, if I unplug this, you will see that we got this flat. Uh, this flat texture, but if we plug the texture here, here we got these really nice shadows. Uh, maybe we can increase the blend a bit more. Okay. And uh, let's turn on our fog. And uh, let's put these really far away, like here. And uh, Maybe let's increase the emission to 10. Okay, let's move this uh, forward. And, uh, let's rotate this a bit here. And uh, let's try to find a good location for this slide. And okay, I think, I think this is looking nice, okay? So uh, I'm going to to create a new collection called uh, Foreground Lights and uh, another collection called Background Lights. I'm going to add this to these foreground lights. And uh, let's duplicate this. I'm going to turn this off and move this forward. Okay, move this here. And uh, okay, in this case, 
I mean, we can always experiment with several lights, but in my personal case, I don't want to have volumetrics here. I just want to start to light this part of the forest. So I'm going to go here to the visibility of the light and on the right visibility, turn off the volume scatter. Okay. I'm going to make the spot size bigger. And I'm going to move this here just to bring some light here. Uh, let's reduce the emission to something like five. Okay, here I got my first light with the volumetrics. And okay, I'm going to duplicate the first light, shift D. And let's move these to the background lights. I'm going to turn off the foreground lights. And okay, let's move these for real, really, really, really forward. I'm going to move this here. Okay. I'm going to return to my world and let's plug this on the surface. And uh, let's bring the ozone down. Maybe let's add a bit of air to make this reddish. No, not too much. Okay. And uh, let's put the strength on something like point one. And okay, I think this is looking really nice. So I'm going to hit render to see how this looks in rendered. Okay, so here we got our image rendered and uh, I'm, I'm watching some things here that we can improve. For example, maybe we we should add some lights here on the on the background because we are having this too flat. But uh, this always depends on what you have in mind. I'm going to go here in the comp compositing tab. And on the gain, I'm going to move this to uh, to the center a bit. And, uh, okay. And okay, here I got our professional color grading. So I'm going to return here to the blender. I'm going to turn off my foreground slides for now. And I'm going to duplicate these. I'm going to add more lights here to the, to the background. Okay. Maybe I'm going to duplicate this one more. Once more time. And uh, okay, I think this is looking a bit better. Okay, so here we got the final result and this is looking pretty decent. There is always room for improvement. Maybe we can change the, the lights location or the go bus texture also we can maybe change the lights location on the background or make some adjustment on the Nishita skies 